In this video we're going to be having a look at solving inequalities involving a modulus sign but we're going to be using a method that involves drawing each of the two sides of the inequality. So if we draw each side of the inequality here we've got y equals modulus of 4x minus 3 and y equals the modulus of 2x plus 1. Let's start with a 4x minus 3. So quite a steep graph crossing at minus 3 but then if we modulus it, we flip or reflect any part of the graph that's below the x-axis through the x-axis. So, instead of crossing at minus 3 now, it's going to cross at 3. And let's rub this part out now. And this is how I'd recommend drawing these. I would recommend drawing the original graph lightly in pencil, then rubbing it out. Okay, so this is crossing at 3. And this is the graph of y equals modulus of 4x minus 3. So this part of the graph here, the original part of the graph, this is positive. But what we've done in reflecting it, this part of the graph can, come be, can be considered the negative part of the graph. That's the part that we've reflected through the x-axis, therefore making it negative. Right, drawing now y equals modulus of 2x plus 1, well, the graph crosses here at 1 and has a bit of a less steep gradient, in fact half as steep as the previous one. So, there's y equals 2x plus 1. But when we modulus it, again, we reflect any part of the graph that's below the x-axis like that and we'll rub out our original part that was below the axis now making it the modulus of 2x plus 1 and again this was the original positive part of the graph and the reflected part, the negative part is there. So we can see there's two points where the graph crosses there and there. So it crosses where both positive parts cross so we've got 4x minus 3 the positive part of that equaling 2x plus 1 the second is where the positive part of 2x plus 1 crosses the negative part of 4x minus 3 so 2x plus 1 equals the negative part of 4x minus 3 so solving those take the 2x across to that side which gives us 2x and 3 across to that side equals 4 so x equals 4 over 2 which is 2 here making that negative we've got 2x plus 1 equals minus 4x plus 3 so it was at this point in the original video that things started to fall apart and I ended up getting the wrong answer from this point so I've deleted the rest of the video from the point at which it started to go wrong i'm going to continue as if nothing happened in a fantastic show of my editing skills and masterful cinematography so let's take the 4x to the right hand side now add 4x to both sides which gives me 6x and take one from both sides equals two that means that x equals a third is one of the roots okay so we've got two roots two and one third so the lower of the two is a third, the higher of the two is two. Now the question's asked us where the graph of modulus of 4x minus 3 is less than modulus of 2x plus 1, where the graph is less than or underneath. So we can see that this happens in this section here. This part of the graph here is where modulus of 4x minus 3 is underneath modulus of 2x plus 1, i.e. between the values x equals a third and x equals 2. So that's our answer, which matches that given in our other video. So a third, less than x, less than 2. And that's the correct answer now. So for more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.